Released in 1973, American Graffiti is a nostalgic dive into the cruising culture of the early 60s. Directed by George Lucas, this film follows a group of high school graduates navigating the challenges of adulthood during one memorable night. No heavy plot twists or intricate storylines here, just a snapshot of a moment in time. As you watch, keep an eye out for the multitude of roles played by an ensemble cast. Which one becomes your favorite? The classic Hollywood actor presence adds an extra layer of charm. Can you pick a standout? What makes this movie special is the roller coaster of emotions. It takes you on from hilarious moments to shocking revelations and touching scenes. So, which part left you in stitches, gasping, or teary-eyed? Now we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this cinematic journey? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Get ready for a trip down memory lane filled with funny, shocking, and sad facts. Keep watching! American Graffiti, directed by George Lucas in 1973, holds the distinction of being one of the earliest films to delve into the lives of teenagers, portraying a pivotal moment in their transition to adulthood. The narrative revolves around a group of recent high school graduates facing the crossroads of life on their last night of youth and freedom in 1962 small-town America. Boasting a stellar cast led by Richard Dreyfuss, with notable performances from Ron Howard, Paul Lemat, Cindy Williams, Charles Martin Smith, and Candy Clark, the movie features Harrison Ford making an appearance as a speed-loving hot rodder. The screenplay and direction by Lucas contribute to the overall impression, earning the film a rating of 4 5 out of 5 stars. Skillfully capturing the universal essence of teenage years, the movie portrays the mixture of freedom, adventure, heartbreak, and the challenges of growing up. It serves as a timeless portrayal of American adolescence in 1962 with a humorous and sympathetic lens. Unfolding as an anthology, the film chronicles the last night of summer for the group of recently graduated teens. Lucas exhibits meticulous control over his characters, crafting a script filled with honesty and vitality akin to the energy of an 18-year-old. The dialogue is both timeless and delightful, marked by humor and trust in the audience's ability to grasp the references without unnecessary guidance. The cast, featuring Dreyfus and Phillips in prominent roles, contributes to the charm. One of the significant impacts of the film is its role in popularizing nostalgia culture, particularly among teenagers. While unintentionally reflecting the norms of the time, intentional use of golden oldies radio, including the presence of DJ and rock and roll guru Wolfman Jack, elevates the film beyond mere cultural references. It manages to make nostalgia a backdrop rather than the focal point, allowing the universal truths of adolescence to shine through. In conclusion, American Graffiti remains a compelling portrayal of teenage life, skillfully balancing humor, sympathy, and nostalgia. Its enduring appeal lies in its ability to capture the essence of youth, making it a noteworthy contribution to cinematic history. Following its release, the cars featured in the movie American Graffiti took an unexpected turn. Despite their subsequent popularity among customizers and hot rodders, the irony lies in their initial fate. Advertisements in San Francisco newspapers saw all cars except Ron Howard's 58 Impala go unsold with the yellow deuce and the white T-Bird priced as low as us 3000 Notably, Milner's yellow deuce coupe sported the registration plate THX 138 on a slightly altered yellow California license plate, a nod to George Lucas's prior science fiction film THX 1138. During production, Universal maintained a hands-off approach, allowing the creative process to unfold without significant interference. The studio initially budgeted $600,000, later adding $175,000 upon securing Francis Ford Coppola as the producer. This financial boost enabled Universal to market the film as from the man who gave you The Godfather. The movie, devoid of heavy plot twists, captures the cruising culture of the early 60s as a nostalgic dive into the lives of teenagers facing the challenges of adulthood. The ensemble cast, featuring Richard Dreyfuss, Ron Howard, Paul Lemat, Cindy Williams, Charles Martin Smith, and Candy Clark, delivers notable performances, with Harrison Ford making an appearance as a speed-loving hot rodder. George Lucas's direction and screenplay earned the film a rating of 4 5 out of 5 stars, showcasing the filmmaker's meticulous control over characters and dialogue that remains both timeless and delightful.
American graffiti holds a distinct place in cinematic history for its portrayal of the universal essence of teenage years, exploring freedom, adventure, heartbreak, and the trials of growing up. As an unintentional pioneer in popularizing nostalgic culture, the film cleverly integrates golden oldies radio and the presence of DJ Wolfman Jack without making nostalgia the focal point. Instead, it allows the universal truths of adolescence to shine through, making it a compelling contribution to cinematic history. In the midst of filming American graffiti, unforeseen challenges cast a shadow on the production. Even before the cameras started rolling, a crew member's arrest for marijuana cultivation added an unexpected twist. The initial night of shooting face delays as mounting cameras onto cars stretched into the wee hours, setting the crew back half a night. San Rafael, chosen for outdoor scenes, revoked filming permits after complaints from a local bar owner. Shifting 20 miles to Petaluma, new hurdles emerged a nearby restaurant fire brought in sirens and traffic, halting filming once again. Despite its nomination for Best Picture at the Oscars, American Graffiti stood as the lone contender that did not clinch any Academy Awards that year. A unique distinction in the film's journey, echoing the unpredictable nature of its production. The cast, predominantly in their 20s, included only two genuine teenage actors, Charles Martin Smith and Ron Howard, amidst their adult counterparts. Notable exceptions were 12-year-old Mackenzie Phillips and Harrison Ford, who marked his 30th birthday during filming. This youthful ensemble, under George Lucas's direction, contributed to the film's genuine portrayal of teenage life on the brink of adulthood. In retrospect, the challenges faced during filming did not hinder the film's impact. American Graffiti, with its mix of humor, sympathy, and nostalgia, captured the essence of youth in 1962 small-town America. A cinematic snapshot of a pivotal moment, it resonates with audiences, even if the accolades at the Oscars eluded it. Despite its cinematic impact, American Graffiti faced financial constraints during production. George Lucas, constrained by a tight budget, couldn't pay the entire crew. To compensate, he offered screen credits instead of payment, a move that became a tradition, contributing to the extended closing credits seen today. The challenges weren't limited to finances. An unfortunate incident occurred when an assistant cameraman fell off a camera truck during a road scene, resulting in him being run over. These unforeseen events added layers of complexity to the movie's creation. The film's fate took a precarious turn during a preview at North Point Theater in San Francisco. Despite a positive audience response, Universal Pictures' head Ned Tainan deemed it unreleasable. Francis Ford Coppola, angered by the verdict, even offered to buy the film from Universal. A compromise allowed Universal to suggest modifications, a resolution that left Lucas dissatisfied, stripping him of some control over the final product. The movie's production wasn't without on-set challenges. Before filming began, a crew member's arrest for marijuana cultivation added an unexpected twist. Night shoots faced delays, with camera setups on cars stretching into the early hours, setting the crew back. Location changes from San Rafael to Petaluma also brought their share of hurdles, including a restaurant fire disrupting filming. Despite these challenges, American Graffiti left a lasting mark. Nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars, it stood as the sole contender that didn't secure any awards that year. The film's impact, however, transcended accolades, capturing the essence of youth in 1962 small-town America with humor, sympathy, and nostalgia. Directed by George Lucas and featuring a cast predominantly in their 20s, the film authentically portrayed teenage life on the brink of adulthood. Only two genuine teenage actors, Charles Martin Smith and Ron Howard, joined their adult counterparts. Notable exceptions included 12-year-old Mackenzie Phillips and Harrison Ford, who marked his 30th birthday during filming. In retrospect, the challenges faced during filming didn't diminish the film's resonance. American Graffiti stands as a cinematic snapshot of a pivotal moment, resonating with audiences despite the absence of Oscars. The movie, with its mix of humor, sympathy, and nostalgia, captures the universal essence of teenage years in 1962.